So we will continue with the last five year uh, question and answer discussion. So now we have come to parasitology part. I think today we're going to do parasitology and bacteriology as much as possible. Uh, so, you know, important questions. So in from the, if you talk about parasitology, usually in parasitology, the most examiner's favorite is they give you the eggs. They give you some clinical history and then they'll give you the eggs. Because in parasitology, most of the time what we do, we get a stool. And then stool, we are going to look for the uh, eggs or cyst or trophocyte. So in picture also, they'll give you these things and tell you to identify. Okay, so let's start. So in this picture, if you see, see the question is already a child and then complain of perianal itching. Perianal itching is more than enough. You know, you'll get a clue. Perianal itching, that's the clue. And it's at mostly at night time and disturbs it. All of us in style would we have this problem, right? So eggs of costivation is shown here and identified. So there's a clue. When you see this egg, see it is somewhat looking like a D shape. D shape, right? So what happened when the child is getting perianal itching, right? When the child is getting perianal itching night time, where the child will what he will say when he's getting itching, uska pasto, uska sister hoga. So he will say, di 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 di, mujhe itching ho raha hai, right? He will say, di 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 di, mujhe itching ho raha hai. So why he say di di? Why we say di di? Because D is the shape of the egg you're seeing here, and E stands for enterobius vermicularis. Enterobius vermicularis, not enterobius histolytica. That's a different story that causes. Uh, dysentery. Now we're talking about enterobius vermicularis, which is also called a pinworm. Okay, and the smallest worm, the pinworm or enterobius vermicularis. Okay, got it. So this is the answer. Uh, so they might give you pinworm or enterobius vermicularis. So please be careful. So this is the one. D D. Okay, when the when the child is getting itching in the anal region, what baby will say? D D D D. Okay. Now because this topic is frequently asked, and this is a pinworm, the smallest worm, and also what uh pinworm or uh, thread worm, whatever. Okay. They are seat warmers. Sometimes they call it a seat worm also. Okay. Different names. So don't confuse. But usually they'll give pinworm or enterobus vermicularis only. Okay. Now the important thing is how do you collect the sample? So in the anal region, see it is not, you'll never see this in the stool. You will not see it in the stool. Not in stool. Okay. Not in stool. Because it is usually in the perianal skin. You will always see the eggs in the perianal skin. Perianal skin region. Okay. Perianal, perianal skin. So what happened? There's a special swab for this. It's called NIH swab. That could be a question. It is asked uh, not in this last five years, but before that, it, this question used to be asked very frequently. The NIH swab is the swab that you put, stick on the perianal region. You stick it and then you roll it and you take it and you make a smear and you put it on the glass light and we see under the microscope and check whether it is the uh, uh, enterobase egg or not. Okay, so this is a question. Okay, these are all the questions. So itching, enterobase, the, the egg which looks like this. Okay, this is a planar convex egg. Right, okay, it's very easy. Now, next one. Look at this egg. If you look at this egg, this one, you see the uh, see what you can see here. The egg, if you see really, if you look at this egg, look at the shape, it is somewhat like this, you know, like this. And then the, the egg is like this, and then like this, and then there is two. Okay, it is somewhat looking like a dumbbell, right? So it is a dumbbell, dumbbell shape, or what you can say, or also you can say, say it as a barrel. B A R R L barrel shape, barrel shaped egg. So how to remember this? Very very easy. So I will tell you this egg. Uh, how to remember? Try try to break. Try try to break the coconut. Coconut is very hard. So try to break coconut with a whip, whip worm. Okay, whip or a dumbbell, dumbbell or a barrel. Okay, you got it. Many try try cube because there is other T say both there is other uh, parasites also. Example, Trichinella spiralis also. Okay, so you might confuse with examiners will confuse you. So remember try 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 is basically what trichuris trichuria. Okay, so this is the answer trichuris trichuria. I'll come there. So the vipom ka dusra naam hai trichuris trichuria. Trichuris trichuria. Okay, vipom. You got it. Vipom trichuris trichuria. So coconut Q hai because because there is something called, I want to uh, stress, there is one sign called uh, coconut shell rectum. There's a sign called coconut shell rectum. It's characteristic for treacherous trichuria. Okay, that's actually coconut coconut shell rectum. The rectum becomes very hard due to, uh, you know, obstruction and also uh, uh, it, it looks like a prolapse. It causes rectal prolapse. Okay, so it looks like a coconut shell. Okay, so it's otherwise called whip. Otherwise called dumbbell or barrel. So very easy. Up coconut breaker in catchy, you need a whip 
whipment whip matlab is just a thread long you know long that uh, thread you know uh, to beat the animals they use right the whip okay whip or dumbbell or barrel so you need all this thing to break your coconut rectum coconut shell rectum that is which one try 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 to break the coconut the coconut shell so very easy so this picture you will never forget something comes like a dumbbell or a barrel or whatever you can remember but remember when you talk about um, barrel there is a barrel shaped orthosphere remember barrel shaped orthosphere can you guess where you see barrel shaped orthosphere orthro sports barrel shaped also in mycology it comes i don't know how much you guys have revised but that was a question frequently it means it looks like this barrel shape hota hai kiska hota hai barrel ke upar kya baithta hai which one ke ye kya hai what is this what is this bird i'm sorry i'm sorry ha huh. what is this bird name what is this bird i, I hope my picture is not bad okay okay like this like this okay what is this cock कॉक बैरल के ऊपर बैठता है सो दैट इज कॉकिडियोसिस ओके कॉकिडियोसिस सो इन कॉकिडियोसिस इन माइकोलॉजी आल्सो देयर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड बैरल शेप सो टू प्लेस यू गेट बैरल वन इज बैरल एग हियर एंड अदर वन इज योर बैरल शेप ऑर्थोस्पोर अपार्ट फ्रॉम बैरल शेप ऑर्थोस्पोर इन कॉकिडियो माइकोसिस यू हैव दिस पेरियोल्स आल्सो दिस पेरियोल्स आल्सो कैन बी अ क्वेश्चन सो रिमेंबर Orthospore, cock, barrel shaped uh, things comes in your examination. Remember that is cockidiosis. Okay, cockidiosis, very easy. Okay, now that's that's causing uh, desert uh, valley fever or desert rheumatism. Rheumatism. Okay, okay. That uh, when it comes, I will I will explain you. But please remember there are two barrels here. Barrel one is whip whip. Another one is in that one. Okay, so this one answer is your whip form. Very simple. So you saw the picture and you answered it. That's it. Okay. So this is the way you will be uh, ready for other things also. Okay. Now next one. Now look at this. So we, you have to know about the eggs. Eggs is very, very important. All the eggs cup features are very important because questions will be asked giving the eggs only. So you, you should know all these eggs cup. What are the, uh, what are the important things? Let us see now. Okay. Let us see what are the things. The first one. Hey, this egg it looks like a open. Okay. Is ka kya bolte hai? Operculated eggs. We have operculated eggs, operculated eggs, and non-operculated eggs. Non operculated eggs, non operculated, non operculated. Okay, non operculated eggs. Now see this. Operculated egg means what? It's open. It's open. Just simply open the egg. Look, there's a lid and it is open here, right? Non operculated means egg is not open. So how to remember for this? Operculated. Suppose let's say if you're having sex without condom, openly if you're having sex, what you'll get? STD. You'll get what? STD. You understand? You'll get STD if you have an open sex without condom. Then you'll get STD. So how to remember? Yes for Yes for yes for yes for what is the yes stands for? Yes stands for. Let me change the color. It will be more nice. Yes for spirometra. Spiro, spirometra. This is the way you are going to remember. Operculated egg. Yes, open. Ah, yeah. So open. Me. If you have sex openly, you get what? STD. Sexual transmitted disease. This is a clue. Clue. STD is a clue for you for open egg, operculated egg, or open sex. Remember like that. Okay. T for trematodes. T for all the trematodes. Trem trematodes. Except uh, there's exception. I'm going to talk about that. D for diplobotrium. Diplo, diplobotrium, diplobotrium, diplobotrium. Okay, diplobotrium, diplobotrium latum, which causes vitamin B12 deficiency. If you remember, okay, we'll revise that later. So, is me kya kya na? Spirometra, meter. This they don't ask this much. The important is tree. Tree, sare time open hi hota hai, na? Tree to bar hai. It's open, so it's open egg. Diplobotrium bottle. आप तो पीने को तो बोतल तो ओपन करना पड़ेगा ना सो बोतल रिमेम्बर लाइक दैट बोट बोथरियम बोतल बोथरियम बोतल ओके बोथरियम बोतल एंड अदर वन इज ट्री ट्री ओपन ओपन ओके रिमेम्बर दिस वन इजी वे यू रिमेम्बर अदर वन इज नॉन ओपरकुलेटेड एग यू नो आई टोल्ड इन ट्रमेटोड ऑल एक्सेप्ट देयर इज एन एक्सेप्शन व्हिच वन इज दैट सिस्टोसोमियासिस 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 एंड Of course, all your cestodes, cestodes also. So we are not going to include it here. Don't be confused. Remember only sisters. इसका कैसे याद करना? Remember sisters. Sisters है ना कोई भी sisters. Sisters are always close. They are reserved. है ना सारे time कपड़े से they completely cover themselves. It could be our hospital sisters, our church sisters. They are completely covered. So remember, like sisters are completely close like this. But there is a twist. These sisters में there are different types. See, this these are cestosome egg. These are the cestosomes egg. That's what I wrote this picture here. Now you see in this picture, see. Each one has something different, unique. See this picture. In each picture, see in the first one, there's spines on the lateral side. Okay, first spines lateral side. Here it is in the center. Here it's only a small knob. Okay, so its name, first one's name is Sister Soma Mansoni. Mansoni, Mansoni. Its name. How to remember? Mansi, is it? Mansi ka side me. Mansi ka side me. Its name. Mansi is a beautiful lady. Is beautiful lady. Mansi. Its side me. Bala. Is it? 
she's fashionable. So lateral spine, lateral spine. Remember like Mansika lateral spine. Okay, Mansika lateral spine. Usko baal side mein aata hai. Sister, so man suni. They can ask this question. Other one is terminal end. Dekho, ye terminal mein hai. Terminal hai to always dangerous. No, terminal, terminal is always dangerous. So terminal T for sisters um ya hematobium, hema. Hematobium, hematobium, sisters of hematobium, T, T or terminal spine. This is lateral spine, this is lateral spine, mansonical lateral spine, okay, this is terminal spine, terminal spine, this is terminal spine, okay, and this is a small spine, or we call it as residual knob or spine, knob or small spine, you know, small, we, call, we can say residual spine, bolde, okay, you can say small, small knob or spine, this is Japanese. Sister Soma Japanicum. Sister Soma Japo, Sister Noma Japonicum. Sister Noma Japanicum. But the case is that Japanese have small nose. Up they go Japanese, they have small nose. Japan logo has small nose. Okay. So any of this question comes, you can easily clear. Okay. Very simple. Okay. Sister Soma, Mansi Hoga, Neto, Hematobium Hoga, and then this one. And of course, Hematobium is the one if you remember which cancer it causes. Bladder carcinoma. It causes the, I'm not going to write, I write it here. Bladder carcinoma. Bladder Carcinoma, the one of the most common cause of uh, bladder carcinoma, which parasite, if they ask, this is cephastrosomia hematoma because dangerous. T is dangerous, you know. T is dangerous, kills everything, terminal spine. Okay. And Japanese hematoma and manson. Finished. Okay. So this is the first type of egg, and this is the second type of egg. And now this one. What is this third one? What picture you're seeing here? What picture is this? Can you identify any idea? What picture is this? What you're seeing here? This is this is basically your cestode eggs. Cestode. Cestode means. Uh, what all comes here? You will have your, it can be a tinea egg, tinea egg or H nana, H nana, okay, H nana, okay, tinea egg or H nana. So this is how to remember is that, see, already it's written here. You will have a, this is the egg embryo spore, embryo spore, and you see there's a hooklets, hooklets, okay, there are six hooklets, there are six hooklets. And there's a polar ending, polar ending. This is a polar filament you call polar filament and hooklets and embryos for that's it. If, if you see this type of picture, it's either tinea or H nana. So you can expect this question this time because they haven't asked much about this question. So they can give you which is the following identify it and it could be cestode egg like this. If you see this three, you know, three pairs of hooklets, totally six, but you can see three pair, three pairs of hooklets, three pairs of hooklets, and polar ending is there, means that could be cestode. In cestode means either tinea or H nana. So please remember that question can be asked. Okay, one. And what about this one? Fourth one, this is not the egg. This is a type of cyst. So what cyst? I, I'm sure you guys must be knowing it very. I'm, I'm, I'm very confident that this is easy. You just have to only see and tell. It's, this picture can be asked. And here, dog is the definite host. So it is hydrated cyst. Hydrated cyst, exactly. Hydrated cyst from your, it is usually taken from your uh, liver. Say they have extracted and you see the cyst. The hydrated fluid, Cassoni test positive. You remember, Echinococcus, yeah, the dog is the definite host. The, I told you, the HMT, may, man is intermediate host. H4, H4, which one? H1 hydrated cyst, M malaria, T for toxoplasma. These are the three places where man is intermediate host. Okay, we'll talk about that later also again. Okay, so hydrated cyst. Then this one comes, this one, and this is one of four. And now what is this one? This one, last one you're seeing. This is the planar convex. We already discussed. What is this? Enterobius vermicularis. Okay, D, D, E, D, E. When the Bible, when the child is getting what? When the child is fifth one. Child is getting itching in the perineal. It says D, E, D, E. Okay, got it? So that's the one. So this is very, very easy. I'm sure, you know, you guys now, uh, you can identify it. Okay, very easy. Yeah, now let's uh, continue. Just a second, just a second. So next one. So next one, one second. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, now the other eggs. Okay, some more eggs, the sixth one. So let's say this is the, the other eggs which can be asked in the exam. So this we already discussed. Just what I told you, it looks like a dumbbell, right? It looks like a dumbbell. It looks like a dumbbell. So it is, this one is, Try, 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 try to break the coconut. So it is trichuris trichuria. Okay, this is trichuris trichuria. Trichuris trichuria. Okay, try, try. I'm going to write try, try. So you'll remember. Okay. Now, seventh one. This is interesting. This is also important. They can ask. If you remember, it is the ascaris, right? Ascaris egg. Ascaris lumbricoides. Yeah, ascaris lumbricoides. That is in a, a show, motor term, they call round worm. Round worm is there are many round worms, but when you, whenever when they say round worm, it it, it it says ascaris. But then there are, there are a list of round worms. Okay, the round worm itself has a clue. Or oh, you and this school we'll talk in the later classes. Okay, it's in my videos, previous video. But now remember ascaris is ascaris. So you have fertilized egg or unfertilized egg. See fertilized egg, either it is fertilized 
or it is not fertilized, right? Non-fertilized or unfertilized. Unfertilized, there's just only one main difference, dono mein. Kya hai? In fertilized egg, mein, there is this crescentic space. The space is there, okay? It's crescentic space. Crescentic space is positive. Space hai to fertilized. Non-fertilized hai to no space. Everything is no here. No space, no space. Okay. Dusra hai, fertilized egg, uh, fertilized egg can float. Have for float. They can float, right? Have for float, 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 float. Okay. But here, no floating. That's the question. No floating. There is no floating. No, this is the difference. If they ask you indirectly to confuse you. But if you see like this, see, here you have space. Nahi hai. So it's definitely the non-fertilized egg. Here for space. Hai. You can see a clear crescentic space. Okay. Clear crescentic space. You must have seen in the egg. So that is your, that is, if that comes, that is your fertilized egg. Okay. That's it. This is one question. This can be asked. Okay. So please remember, these are the important eggs. They will not ask you more than this. These are the eggs commonly. They will ask in the exam. So look at this one. This one is, this one is what? This is your hookworm. Yes, this is your hookworm. So hookworm is tricky. Uh, tricky, not tricky. It's very plain. See this, this hookworm. And inside you see what, see all this, all this embryos like this, you know, embryos. Four or five segment of embryos, you see, that's it. Those things, only. those, the inside one is the embryo. They are like segmented round, round, you know, one, two, three, four, five segments, okay? Segmented embryos, that's it. If you see a segmented, segmented embryos, that is the hookworm, okay? Hookworm. When you talk about hookworm, it is your Ancyclostoma duodenale, Ancyclostoma duodenale, and other one is your Necator americanus, Necator americanus, Necator americanus, not a stronglery. Stronglery is a round worm, but it will not come in the hookworm. In hookworm, it is actually Ancyclostoma and Necator americanus, okay? So the, and then you know there's a Chandler index also. You remember right? Chandler index. If it's more than uh, more than 300, then it will be what? It, it is one of the causes for the. Uh, that means endemicity. It's an endemicity area. Okay, that will be uh, talking in your PSM also. But remember, Chandler means hookworm. Hookworm. Okay, mm -hmm. right. So we have done. So this question is so we have revised all the eggs. So please remember and just remember the name. Well, they'll give you the picture and they will uh, ask you. So you will answer it. You will not make a mistake in that. Okay. Yes. Now next one. Now this one. This is another interesting question. Let's go to this question now. So here, what is here in this question? You see, this is a six-year-old boy. He just had a lower abdominal pain and diarrhea area was there okay and the stool and the diarrhea came okay? the stool was given and stool me you saw this so this is basically you look at the shape you a shape they keep up with one chai this is what amoeba this is amoeba right this is amoeba this one clue yeah amoeba ke under red color red color ho gaya. red color means it's definitely what it's an rbc this is a nucleus this is a karyosome this is a nucleus oh, okay you can say it's like this nucleus you call it as karyosome or nucleus or whatever okay karyosome but here, important is RBC. Amoeba is a clue. Aagya. So, amoeba means that's definitely a, it's a trophozoite. It's a trophozoite of what? Trophozoite of, trophozoite, trophozoite of, which one? Your entamoeba histolytica. EH, entamoeba histolytica. Trophozoite of entamoeba histolytica. So, you got it here. Entamoeba histolytica. Okay. Because the one which you're seeing, this is the, this is the amoeba. This is a trophozoite form. We have trophozoite and I'll show you now. This is a trophozoite form where RBC, this is erythrophagocytosis we call. It has ended up, this amoeba engulfs the RBC from our body, right? From the intestine. So that's what we have. So this is a trophozoite of EH. And this picture will come only in the endobisilica, not in other things. You'll not see in Giardia, Giardia, Lambella, Shigella, Shigella and Campylopetra. So they are totally bacteria. So there is no link. Okay. These two are definitely you can rule out. Giardia or Giardia is a yeah, I'll show you now. Yeah, Giardia, yeah, you'll never forget. I will, I will, I've made it so easy for you guys, you will not forget. But amoeba, mein, there's only one antibody histolytica. So, interesting, me, as amoeba shape, me, RB sagio, to never make mistake. Amoeba, to, there's only one antibody histolytica, which is pathogenic, which causes amoebic dysentery. Okay, you got it. Now, the other points, what are other points important in the amoebic dysentery? Because amoebic dysentery, antibody histolytica, amoebic dysentery is frequently asked question. So, there are a few points you have to know. There is no way you're going to leave this topic. So, see here. You know this. What is the typical? This is uh, when I mean, uh, endometrial affects the body. It causes a typical type of ulcer. What is this called? This is a flask shaped ulcer. Very good. This is a flask shaped ulcer. So, this is a flask shaped ulcer. Flask shaped ulcer means endometrial histolytic ulcer. But of course, you should know there are other ulcers also. If you remember, that's more pathology, but I will revise it now. You have longitudinal ulcer. We have a longitudinal ulcer. Longitudinal ulcer. Where in your? In your typhoid, exactly. In your typhoid fever, you have longitudinal ulcer, salmonella typhi. That is your salmonella typhi. Okay. This is in your typhoid, in a typhoid, in, I'm sorry, GIP. I'm sorry. One second. Huh. Problem with this pen here. Okay. So typhoid, this is your typhoid fever. You have longitudinal ulcer, but there is also transverse ulcer. Transverse ulcer, you know, it's very common. It's in your, your TB of your intestine. 
when there's a TB. T for T, transverse ulcer TB, not typhoid. Don't confuse with the typhoid. Typhoid is long, long people get typhoid. Long people will get typhoid. Long people will get typhoid. Transverse for TB. TB transverse. Okay, easy. So this fractured ulcer can be a question. Antimibo histolytica. Okay, now this one. You see, this is the antimibo histolytica cyst. And this is the trophoid. Trophoid, just now I showed you. You see RBC inside. Trophoid, you just see the RBC inside. But in cyst, you will see quadrinucleate cyst. Quadrinucleate. Quadrinucleate cyst. You, it can be bi, tri, doesn't matter. But why I'm saying quadrinucleate? Because this is the infective stage. This is the infective. They ask which is the infective stage. Infective stage, that means in fecal oral root, mein, our body ka andar yehi jayega. Cyst will go. But trophozoid, hai na, this is the diagnostic. This is the diagnostic form. Which is the diagnostic form means if you see the trophozoid, then that is diagnostic form. More important than cyst. Okay, that is confirm you have the uh, antimibistolytic but amoebiosis is there. Okay, right. Okay, so these are questions. Trophozoid will be RBCs inside and cyst, there will be four nucleus. Round oval shape with four nucleus. That's called quadrinucleate cyst. Very simple. You will not forget it. Okay, now this one. Look at this sauce. This brown color delicious sauce. It looks like a sauce. What is that one? What is that called? That is basically... Can you uh, can you remember? Can you guess? It is the anchovy sauce. Exactly. Anchovy sauce. Anchovy sauce. Anchovy sauce. This brown color, which looks like a chocolate. It's an anchovy sauce. This is characteristic for what? Amoebic liver abscess. Amoebic liver abscess. Amoebic. That's what. Enter my best Amoebic liver abscess. Amoebic liver abscess. So the most common extra intestinal manifestation of uh, antibiotics, if they ask, it is your liver. It's your liver. And liver, mein kya hoga? in liver, you will have this abscess. You have this abscess called anchovy sauce. You will have this abscess called, what it's called? Anchovy sauce. Anchovy sauce abscess. Okay. Remember that. So this is another important point. These are the, the picture. If they come, these are the questions they can ask you. That's it. Okay. So this is all. You will have amoebic dysentery. And so you will, all these things are the findings. Okay. Very good. So I'm sure antibiotic, you will not make a mistake. You will definitely write it. Either sister, trophosis, whatever comes, you're going to answer it. Well, okay, yes, now next one. Look at this one. This is another interesting one. So now you see here, it's a the, 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 you see either question, which are both sufficient for you to answer everything. HIV patient present with persistent diarrhea. So, what are you thinking? Without any option, you can tell. Okay, which is the most common cause of diarrhea in HIV patient? It's your cryptosporidium. Cryptosporidium. Okay, see, sometimes be careful. Examiners might give you cryptococcus. Okay, he might give you cryptococcus, but cryptococcus is most common cause of. In HIV patient, it causes what? Meningitis. Most common cause of meningitis in HIV patient is cryptococcus. But most common cause of diarrhea in HIV patient which is cryptosporidium. You can see. But, of course, even cyclospora, cystoisospora, isospora, other cystoisospora, they can also cause. So now, so you should know the differences. Okay. So see, one clue is, so this picture they have given, this is an acid first bacilli. This is an acid first bacilli. In this picture, I will be confused only with two things. Either it's a cryptosporidium or it's cyclosporo. Okay. But here they haven't given any size or anything. That's what I'm choosing cryptosporidium because this cryptosporidium is most common than uh, cyclospora. Uh, why? Because both are round shape. Both this crypto and cyclo are round shape. Only your, uh, your crypto, this one, cycloisospora, cystoisospora, just oval. These two are round and round. Cyclospora is a bit bigger than crypto, but it is less cause comparing to cryptosporidium is most common cause of diarrhea in HIV patient. But all these things are what we call as acid post parasite. So it means we have to know the differences. Now let's go to the differences. Look at this. So here, if you see in this picture, we I'm going to uh, see. Uh, uh, important thing is that this is crypto. This is cryptosporidium. Okay, cryptosporidium. And this is cyclospora. Cyclospora. And this is this is isospora, 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 or we call cysto isospora. Nowadays they're calling it more cysto, but doesn't matter. It's a spora. Okay, say a cyclospora, isospora. Now, how to know the differences? All are as the one common thing is that all are acid first. Acid first, the pathana TB is an acid first. So you do acid first staining, and then how many percentage? Or in all the cases, you're using how much? One percent H2SO4. One percent H2SO4. That is the what acid first. In acid first, if you remember, 25 percentage is for your. Yeah, 25 is the highest for 20 or 20 percent for T20, T tuberculosis, uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis. Leprosemia only 5 percentage. Lepra, L E P R E. So only 5 percent. Okay, lepra is only 5 percentage. You understand, right? 25 percentage H2SO4 you're using for TB. T20, T20, 20 or 20 percentage H2SO4. H2SO4, I'm talking about H2SO4. So it is for TB. TB. Lepra may use only 5 percentage. 5 percentage, lepra may only 4 words, 5 words, L-E-A-P-R-E, -E, lepra. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 5 percentage. Okay, okay. 
uh, this is for lepra, uh, 5% H2 support. And one percentage is for all these parasites. Also, one is for which one? You can use it for your nocardia. Yes, nocardia also. Nocardia also, nocardia. And all this acid plus parasite uses one percentage. Okay. And 0 0.5% is for sperms. Okay. For, 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 for uh, sperms, I think. Okay. So this is for all the acid first. Acid first. Parasites. Okay, acid first parasites. Acid first parasites. One percentage. So cryptosporidium is easy. One is you see C in a C. C is a round koro, round shape ho gaya. Cysto kabi up round koro, it will become a round, round. Okay. And isospora is I. I ka thoda elevate karega to oval isa like this. Okay, shape is different. Okay, and biggest one. Important is the size. Size is ka cryptosporidium small. It is four to eight micron. Okay. Is ka double karo that is. This one, how much? Uh, four to, I'm sorry, it's four to six. Okay, four to six. It's a double coro. That means eight to 12. Eight to 12 micron will be your cyclospora. I, uh, cyclospora. Isospora will be, it's a double coro. 24 to 36. 24 to 36 mm. Sometimes they'll give you this uh, value. So don't confuse. So if you give a four to six, eight to 12, 24 to six, then you have to be exact precious answer you have to give. Okay, so this is the thing. This are all our acid first, all of this thing. And what is another important thing? Autofluoresis. That is one characteristic feature you see only in the autofluorescence. That means they shine. They shine. Okay. Autofluorescence. Autofluorescence means they shine. So autofluorescence is seen only in the cyclospora and in isospora. Oh, it's me. Auto is not in the cryptosporidium. Autofluorescence nahi hai. So these two will shine. Spora will shine. These two spora, spora again are not sporidium. Spora, spora, they will shine. Okay. Is may more the or you remember cycle will shine. Cycle will shine. Okay. Cycle will shine. Isospora, iso will shine. Only these two sporas will shine, not other things. Okay. Cryptosporidium will not shine. So it's a separate one. Okay. So it's now they will uh, in case if they ask. Okay, if they ask, this is the thing you have to remember. Okay. All right. This is the difference of the acid first basic. So I think you'll not forget. And these all are common in HIV patients, HIV patients are very common. Also, malignancy. Malignancy, especially any blood, any blood cancers, any blood cancers related, especially in children, malignancies, uh, any blood uh, leukemia, cancer, or whatever, it's very common. Okay, blood cancer on immunocompromised patients, it's very very common. So that you have to remember. Okay, that's it. Okay, so now let's go to uh, next uh, next question. Now look at this question. This also, this is another very very important and interesting topic. Also, I love this topic very much. See here. Uh, gynecology OPD, uh, someone is coming to gynecology OPD, patient, foul smelling, frothy discharge. It's a foul smelling and it's very frothy discharge. There is itching. Definitely there is itching. Frothy itself gives me a clue. Okay. I mean, uh, but again, let's wait. On examination, cervix is like strawberry. Strawberry means itself, you know, there is no confusion. You should think about what your trichomonas vaginalis. That's enough. There's only, even if the strawberry cervix is characteristic only for trichomonas vaginalis. Okay, TV. So I already got the clue. And now, which of the following is false? Now we have to tell the part about TV, which is a false statement. Okay. So TV, trichomonas vaginalis is one of the cause of what? Bacterial vaginosis. It exists in cyst and trophozoid pop. Let's wait here. Let's wait. Okay. It's a parasite? Definitely. Trichomonas vaginalis is a parasite. This, this is right. And for diagnosis, are we using the lash and lash media and diamond media? Yes, definitely. And treat the both the partners? Definitely. So which is not? This is the this option is wrong. So how to remember this? I will tell you now how to remember this. Okay. Uh, the answer is A, but I will tell you how to remember. Uh, it, it might be a little bit difficult for you. Uh, like, uh, why it's so confusing how to remember. This is the wrong statement. It exists in system to say wrongs because there is no cyst form. Okay, there is no cyst form. So how to remember trichomonas vaginalis? So you guys will be so excited. Now, okay. How to remember? Trichomonas. Trichomonas vaginalis. I'm going to remember our popular South Indian actress, Trisha. Trisha. Trisha is the girl, okay? She is definitely popular, rich girl. So it means, what is her favorite food? She will take only strawberry. She eats only strawberry. This beautiful girl, she eats only strawberry. And she eats what? Green veggies. Green veggies. Green color vegetables. She eats only green color veggies, okay? Remember, green color veggies. And she has beautiful eyelash beautiful eyelash but what but beautiful eyelash but also not only eyelash she has one more thing what she wears diamonds of course she's rich that's what she's wearing diamond why to judge her yeah she she's enjoying 
she is single you know that because she broke up with rana rana dogupati she broke up frequently now until now she is always single 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 i'll tell you why okay you'll you'll come you'll come to this options okay and of course she is always caring about her partner so she uh, partner thing is let's wait for partner okay and another thing is what trisha trisha so everything is t t she is single and everything is t t only her life, everything is t t so now you're going to answer why did i say strawberry whoever now knows they I, i think you guys like already you know excited about it because you must have already guessed why i brought this clue because there is an answer for everything strawberry appearance see this is the strawberry cervix this is the strawberry cervix strawberry cervix is characteristic for trichomonas vaginalis trisha trichomonas vaginalis see one more thing before going there whenever you talk about bacterial vaginosis or vaginitis uh, i'm sorry the the what are the causes of vaginal discharge i'm going to cut this okay Va vaginal discharge when you talk about vaginal discharge there are three things important candida and bv bacterial vaginosis first one is fungus second one is bacteria and third one is trichomonas vaginalis tv is the most in parasite is the most common cause these are three important things okay now we are talking about trichomonas vaginalis in trichomonas vaginalis strawberry cervix ho gaya one and green which is q men of green which part because you have a greenish discharge because you have a greenish 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 frothy discharge okay so is kelte me greenish bol but greenish will not come in bvs me nahi hai because candida me kya aata hai candida me the patient has what candida patient has curdy discharge curdy or tc curdy discharge hota hai theek hai in in bacterial vaginosis me there will be thin discharge very thin discharge okay thin discharge that's what i'm i'm, I'm bringing this here okay thin discharge and tv green which is greenish for the eyelash because the media for culturing this is called lash media lash cystine media lash cystine media if you remember the previous one see the media lash media you remember lash media okay and then diamonds media she loves diamond so it is a diamond media she likes what diamond media so diamond media diamond also it's a media diamond media so these are the two minute growth single do reason sir because yahan par you have only trophozoite you have only trophozoite no cyst that's what that answer you remember this question see this one we exclude cyst because cyst nahi hai trisha is always single t for t t is only trisha trisha is only all and all one and one trisha so t for uh, trophozoite and one more t why did i include one more t why one is trophozoite okay you told another which what is the motility twitching t for twitching motility this question also asked many times twitching motility twitching motility is characteristic for this one you always confuse with giardia lamblay giardia gia girjata hai so gia is a falling down motility okay i have to explain in my uh, uh, parasitology class gia girjata so it's falling down motility but this one your trichomonas vaginalis trisha has twitch she always twitches okay and ek aur hai why you are two single single because usko dekho i dekho iska ek single nucleus hai न्यूक्लियस भी उसका सिंगल है सब सिंगल सिंगल हो गया कर्स फ्रिशा ओके ट्रोफोसाइट भी वो सिंगल है आल्सो व्हाट शी हैज अ सिंगल न्यूक्लियस शी हैज ओनली सिंगल न्यूक्लियस बिकॉज दिस पिक्चर विल बी कंफ्यूज विद योर सिंगल न्यूक्लियस यू विल कंफ्यूज दिस विद जियाडिया दैट्स व्हाट आई एम ब्रिंगिंग इट हियर ओके सो ओनली सिंगल न्यूक्लियस यू गॉट इट सो इफ दिस पिक्चर कम्स ऑल्सो यू स्ट्रॉबेरी आगे तो त्रिशा याद में आना है इफ यू सी सिंगल आई दैट आपको दिस ऑल्सो शुड बी वॉट योर and and she uh, she is very fancy girl see you, you have four uh, flagella in the anterior side and one in the pyre so beautiful she she is pretty no so she is uh, this type of hashtag let's say if this is trisha and uh, average trisha okay don't miss so uska baal aise aata hai front side mein panch baal aata hai and piche ek baal aata hai aise okay that is her style okay you have four anterior flagella and one posterior flagella we you don't do that much detail just remember a single nucleus aa gaya tha that is single anywhere single single comes trisha 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 twitching 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 only trophozoite 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 cyst nahi hai uske paas okay treatment and of course treatment you give with what metronidazole metronidazole the shortcut is yeah, i'll i'll talk about that when i have time i'm going to talk about that uh, in jade we'll talk okay so it's very easy so you got it right now let's go to next one now identify this parasite now you will say this one so what is this parasite so what is the uh, thing now you see it's almost looking like a trisha uh, i'm sorry uh, trichomonas vaginalis but you see two nucleus here you see two nucleus so if you see two nucleus then what it is that is giardia lamblia giardia lamblia so how to remember giardia lamblia sir giardia is very important question and you will frequently have it so i made a very easy way to remember it even you don't even have to revise it uh, before the exam giardia if you remember this is one thing i asked you to please remember the gia gia is a vegetable gia gia okay gia is a gia make gia as a gia okay that's the, uh, the i'm sorry one second yeah 
make the jia as a gia. Okay, this is gia vegetable, right? Gia vegetable is giardia lamblia. Our giardia, giardia lamblia. Okay, now look at this. Why this? Aapko kya karogi? Tennis racket se. Mene tennis racket se. I hit the gia. So gia fall down. Gia fall down. Okay, fall down. Mene. This is someone, me or whoever you want. I just hit the gia with my tennis racket. It fell down. After falling down, what happened? I got angry. I got angry. Okay, I got very angry. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, I got angry. And not only that, after my mom cooked, you know, when it fell down, I got angry. When my mom cooked, when my mom cooked and gave me gia, it's terrible. So what did I got? When I ate gia, I got steatoria. Steatoria. Steatoria is what? Fatty diarrhea. Fat malabsorption or fatty diarrhea. Okay, everything. Anything related with the fat indigestion, fatty diarrhea. Anything with a uh, fat, fat comes, that is steatoria. Most common cause of steatoria is gia. Gia canemis. Hey, it's not really gia canemis. This is a clue. I'm giving you a clue that you will not forget. Gia canemis steatoria. Hai. Okay. Gia, giardia. Okay. And after that, what happened? Gia, roj, roj, kathe rete. So, what happened? Of course, I will be frustrated. And what happened? I'll hang myself wearing a string. Okay. I'll wear a string. I'll wear a string. To suicide, I'll, I'll do. I'll wear a string, and I'll, oh, of course, you no. Know, every day, gear. Imagine how terrible it is. Of course, I'll try to attempt to suicide. Okay, why is it string? The string is nothing but this is a string test, or we call it as string gelatin string test. We call, or otherwise, it's called entro test. Okay, entro test. Entro test. Actually, we we do it for actually and string. We have to do for three three parasites will come. G C S. देखो आप एंट्रो स्ट्रिंग डालोगे तो किसी को मारने के लिए स्ट्रिंग डालेगा तो यानी यू वांट टू सुसाइड है ना सुसाइड करने का कोशिश करेगा तो क्या करोगी यू विल पुट जीसीएस कोमा स्कोर में कोमा में जाएगा ना कोमा में जाएगा तो क्या करोगी स्ट्रिंग में कोमा जीसीएस स्कोर जी फॉर जीआरडीआ जी फॉर जीआरडीआ सी फॉर क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम अभी अभी हमने पढ़ा कि एचआईवी डायरिया मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज एंड यस फॉर स्ट्रांग इलाइडिस Strong people, strong people also will die wearing the string. Okay, strong people also will die with the string. Okay, very easy. Okay, got it. Is kali ye to? I say so. String test will come. Okay, now string test is basically this one. Ye aise hota capsule hota gelatin capsule. You have to insert it inside till where? Till duodenum. Duodenum tak jaega. This also question they can ask. String test will go till the duodenum. Isko kaise duodenum? How to remember? Giardia me. Dekho giardia me. GRM is there is a D D so D for duodenum D for duodenum GRD D D for duodenum so not jejunum not ileum till duodenum only okay not stomach also duodenum so GRD is duodenum okay many let's go to other points many itna clue bol diya pe kyu itna sare clue sir kyu diya okay first one tennis racket appearance this is the question tennis racket appearance okay which of the following is tennis racket appearance this one okay ek aur clostridium bhi hai which one clostridium clostridium ka kya kar tennis tennis ka kya karna hai try Yeah, yeah. Difficult tennis match. So, close medium difficult. Close medium difficult. Difficult tennis match. Close medium difficult. Very easy. Difficult tennis match. दूसरा में tennis racket पे गिया गिर जाता है. Okay, गिया will fall down. So, tennis racket is a question. Or इसको देखो tear drop पे बोल सकते हैं. We can call it a tear shape also. That or sometimes they can ask. The, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> If you look this, it looks like a tear only. So you can say tear shape. Okay. Fall down Q because what motility? Falling down. Falling leaf motility. Falling. लीफ एनीथिंग फॉलिंग लीफ ऐसे आ गया एनी फॉलिंग आ गया जिया जिया गिर जाता है गिया गिर जाता है दैट्स व्हाट बिकॉज़ यू विल कंफ्यूज विद द ट्विचिंग मोटिव ट्विचिंग इज त्रिशा ओनली त्रिशा एज अ ट्विचिंग त्रिशा का आई ऐसे ट्विच होता है ओके ट्विचेस टी40 बट जीआरडीआर का फॉलिंग लीफ एंग्री बिकॉज़ इसका शेप देखो इट लुक्स एंग्री लाइक ऐसे ओल्ड मैन है ना कुछ ओल्ड मैन है इतना गुस्सा में है ओके दो आंखों से यू हैव टू आईज एंड इज वेरी एंग्री लुक ऐसे एंग्री लुक आ गया तो दैट इज द एंग्री लुक एंग्री मैन फेस एंग्री मैन लुक आल्सो दे से समटाइम्स ओके स्टीयर टू एरिया क्वेश्चन स्ट्रिंग टेस्ट क्वेश्चन ओके गॉट इट दिस मच नाउ लिसन सो फॉर आवर ट्रीटमेंट फॉर सी ट्रीटमेंट फॉर फ्यू पैरासाइट यू नो द क्लू राइट whenever a metronidazole is a treatment for many diseases metronidazole okay metronidazole so how to remember when koi bhi metro train aise aata hai dekh ye metro train hai okay it's coming on the way so isme koi aap rukte to what you will tell you will tell hey get out of the way hey get out of the way get out of the way get out of the way metro train is coming please get out of the way bologi na if metro train is coming so g for giardia metronidazole is drug of choice for giardia it is also it's also it's also it's also excuse me ha huh. it's also uh, giardia e for entamoeba histolytica and t for trichomonas vaginalis 
Got it? So this is this is the metronidazole treatment for all these parasites. Okay, it's easy. Get out of the way. And of course, all your clostridium also. Anaerobes. Anaerobes. Metronidazole is important role. Okay, fine. Now, we have finished the GRDR. Now, let's go to the... Uh, uh, so we almost completed the parasite part. Yeah, good. Now, we're going to talk about the bacteriology. Bacteriology is very amazing and interesting. Let's see. I told you a few topics again repeated in bacteriology. One is the Vibrio. Other one is diphtheria. Okay. And a few more. TB also. TB and leprosy also. They are asking uh, very regularly. Okay. So now, let's talk about the uh, this one. This question now. Let's go. An eight-year-old boy brought to emergency department with continuous diarrhea. Uh, started 20 hours before and it is rice watery. That's enough. Rice water means itself. I know what you're going to think. Rice watery diarrhea means it's catastrophic for your cholera, vibrio cholera. Okay, but I'll give you a clue. Don't worry. And he's drowsy with sunken because usually severe diarrhea hota hai with rice water stool diarrhea. So patient will get what? Shock. Patient will go into shock. So answer is vibrio cholera. But sir, how to remember? Yes, we will remember like this. Hey, Deko, how I remember, okay, you can remember in your own ways, if you're strong enough to remember, fine, but again, I'm stressing on the students who really have difficulty, you know, uh, remembering this, especially micro as individual batches, different, 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 so in, they have 19 subjects revised, so students who are really struggling with that, for them, I'm going to make it easy, it'll be funny, and even if you don't have time to revision, also somehow, you know, by God's grace, you will, you will remember there, okay, that's what I wanted you guys, okay, I don't want you guys to make a mistake in the easy questions like this, okay, so this is, this is Viba darling, she is Viba. She is Viba. Viba means Vibrio. For me, Viba is Vibrio. Vibrio. Okay, Vibrio, cholera. Vibrio. She is darling. You will, you will see answer everything. She's darling. And she's a star. She's a darling. Look at her, how she dressed. She's a star. Uska boyfriend ka naam hai? Eltor. Eltor hai uska BF. Wo kaate rehta hai. Eltor hai na? Ye hi hai. Kaate rehta hai. Usko kuch kaam nahi hai. Okay. And then, she goes very beautifully to her office. Her of, uska office ka naam hai? TCS, Tata Consultancy. She go to Tata Consultancy. She go to Tata Consultancy. That's her office. How she goes? She's, she's having a carry bag. She carries a carry bag. I'm sorry. She carries a she carries a carry bag with her. She carries a carry bag. Carry bag under kya hota? She has a salt water. She likes salt water. I don't know the secret, but she likes salt water. Carry bag, salt water, and who carries her? Is a car driver is Venkat Raman. Venkat Raman. Venkat is a car driver. Uska car driver. Okay. She's having a beautiful life. Fir, ek din kya ho gaya? She was frustrated. You know, every time beautiful, good, and nice, you know, you get frustrated, and she died by putting a string on herself. Beautiful story, no? Now, everything is a question. Everything, every point is a repeated question. Okay. So, you remember this picture, this beautiful girl? Now, you will answer me all the things. So, let's start. Darling, why did they say darling? Because the motility name. What is the motility name? Let me change the color of the pen. I would go to yellow. It's better. Darling, because darting motility. Yeto, by this time, you must be sure. Darting motility. Yeto, you have to drink a Viba only. Vibra darting, darling. Starry, because it's called shooting star. Shooting star motility also, right? Shooting star. Shooting star motility. Okay, darting motility or shooting star motility. Question, question. Eltor, Eltor ka boyfriend, because you remember two, there are biotypes. Ye classic hota hai. Dusra hai, Eltor. Eltor hai na, Eltor is ka boyfriend. Classic mein important hai. Eltor is important. Eltor mein kya ka important? How do you differentiate it? Eltor ka kaane mein pasand. He likes only to eat. See, what, what he's eating? He's eating, first of all, he's eating a VP, veg paratha. Veg paratha kata hai. Okay, he's eating a veg paratha. VP, this is a veg paratha here. And then here. And then he's eating what? He, uh, what is positive? Chicken agglutination. Chicken agglutination is positive. Chicken agglutination is positive. Chicken agglutination is positive. Okay. And sheep, sheep, blood agar hemolysis. Sheep, blood agar hemolysis. Sheep, blood agar hemolysis. Itna hai. Eltor ki itna yaad karna. Because exam mein apko aayega how to differentiate. And also Eltor likes what? Camping. Camping baut pasand karta hai. So sometimes he takes Viva for camping also. Okay. He takes camping. Ye isme classic mein nahi hai. Very simple. Itna. So, these are the last two minute revisions. So please remember you don't have to carry so much burden on yours. Give some to us. We will carry. We will make it easy. Okay. Classic and Eltor. Eltor is a boyfriend. Uska veg parata. VP is, VP is basically works pushner reaction. Okay. I made it easy. Veg parata. He likes veg parata. He likes sheep. He he like a sheep cow, you know, lamb, lamb. So uh, hemolysis, and then he likes what? He likes the chicken, and he likes the sheep. Okay, and then uh, these are things his favorite things. Okay, and then sheep RBC and uh, camp. He likes doing camping. That's it. Okay, elder is a boyfriend. He gaya. So that's a question they can ask. TCS kya hai? TCBS media. TCBS remember, remember TCBS media, taurocolate citrate, bile salt, aga media. This is the one. This is the one. Okay, this is the one you are seeing here. This is the media. So TCBS media is more better than bismuth salt agar. Bismuth salt agar. This is bismuth salt agar. BSA. 
BSA agar, okay. So, which is better? This they are selective media. These are the select TCBS is selective media for Vibrio cholera. Both TCBS and BSA. You will not make mistake. TCS mein kya tha? Because Vibha goes to with Tata concept. TCS mein she is an IT field. So, TCS mein jati hai, okay. TCBS add karo. That's it. TCBS, okay. Ho gaya. Carry bag. Ye carry bag hai na carry player media. Carry bag is carry player media. Salt water is autoclaved salt water. Okay, it's autoclaved salt water. Autoclave salt water and Venkat is Venkat Raman and Ramakrishnan media. Ye sare media kya hai? Transport media. So, uska matlab uske liye maine bola tha ka office ke jaane ka time she carries a carry bag, she carries a sea water. Devia. Of course, one more thing I forgot. Ye kya karti hai? Uska face glow hone ke liye uh, before string test, because face glow ke she uses what? She uses alkaline peptone water. Alkaline peptone water and alkaline peptone water and rice water she drinks alkaline peptone water rice water for her beauty beauty okay beauty matlab for enrichment i'm just saying it's a beauty beauty means alkaline peptone water is an enrichment media for enrichment media rice water it's, it's basically enrichment uh i write it here enrichment media enrichment media okay and rice water diarrhea I already told you rice water alkaline peptone alkaline peptone water is an enrichment media for vibrio cholera this is a question enrichment because if you want to get enriched use alkaline peptone water not me this guy, Viva is using, okay, Viva is using for a glowing face, okay, and the string test, uh, string test is, uh, this is the string test, you, you, you make in a, you make in a bile, in a in bile solution, you mix a colony and you try to lift up, you'll see a string, this string is different from the string which you saw in the Giardia, when you eat Giardia, you try to suicide, or you put GCS score, that's also another string, that is your string you're inserting inside, here this is in a culture media, you pick the colony and you mix it with the bile and then you try to lift it up, then you see the string, so this string is also, so or kon kon mar jata ek gia kana mein mar jati hai, Giardia, dusra viva mar jata hai, because of extreme pressure of work or whatever, she also suicide herself by wearing string. So string test means Viba, Vibrio, Cholera, Darling, Viba, Star, Viba. Okay, very simple, easy. Ye definite hundred percentage question, expected question, at least ninety nine percent. So please remember this chart very well. Okay, no need to confuse, no need to use your brain. Just by thinking this cartoon, it's enough for you. You remember everything. Okay, so this is the way. This is this is one of the. Uh, the culture media TCBS ka, and the bile salt agar media. Just if the in case if they ask you the question. Okay, finish. Viva is over. Okay, so now there is one more thing: the mechanism of these toxins. Okay, we are going to talk about the mechanism of the toxins. So see, following the action of the uh, this which of the following is the mechanism of action of cholera toxin. Cholera toxin ka. I I know that by this time you must be uh, ready. Even if you don't, if you're not ready, also I'll give you a clue. Here, what happened? The answer is which one? Inhibition of EF factor? No. This is who does this? One is your diphtheria, another one is your pseudomonas. Diphtheria and pseudomonas do this mechanism. Inhibition of the EF2 factor. And increase guanity, this is goes to E. coli stable. This is one of the E. coli uh, stable toxin does it. We'll talk about it. And uh, this one, AC, in the increased activation of AC. I, you know, you can remember Viba likes to live in AC, but also there's other clue. 60 years also, I will explain you now. This is Shigala is giving this one. This is by Shigala. Okay. Now, how to remember, sir? Yes, I'll tell you how to remember. So, what you do? So, toxin ka mechanism, how the toxin works? How does the toxin work? So, toxin works in two different mechanisms. One is decreased protein synthesis. Decreased protein synthesis. A decreased protein synthesis may clue hai. D, P, S. Anna? D for, D for what? Diphtheria. Diphtheria. And other one is pseudomonas, pseudomonas, and shigella, shigella, and shigella like toxin. Don't know shigella and shiga like toxin. Shiga like toxin. Don't know toxins. Here diphtheria toxin, pseudomonas toxin toxin. Is dono ka mechanism you know EF two factor inhibition, EF two factor inhibition. Repeatedly asked question. This is the first mechanism talking. Okay, this is the first one. So a question zarur zarur aiga diphtheria pseudomonas ki EF two factors repeated hundred times I think in all the exams. So you should know. Shigala Shila, how to remember? Shiga Shiga is done okay. Shiga 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 is always Shila. I, I call it a Shila anti. Shila anti is Shila anti is all is ages kya hai? 60 hai. This ka AG hai 60. Shila 60. Shila 60 60. Okay, Shila 60 60. So you got a clue? 60 S. It inhibits the 60 S unit in the ribosome and you get it. Got it? Question. A B question both both puts to car. Okay. Now other one, other mechanism is what? Second one is camp cyclic. AMP. This is not the camp camp mechanism, which is on L Torque camp. Who likes camp? 
स्टेप्टोकॉकस अगलाटी है और स्टेप्टोकॉकस अगलाटी है ग्रुप बी बी और बॉयज बॉयज लाइक हिपो बॉयज लाइक कैंपिंग कैंप पॉजिटिव और हिप हिपो हिपुरे 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 सॉरी हिपुरे टाइटलिस इस पॉजिटिव इस फॉर योर स्टेप्टोकॉकस अगलाटी है ये कैंप उधर आते हैं रिवर्स कैंप कहाँ पर आते हैं � Clostridium perfringes, Mr. Perfect Nigler can reverse camp person there. Here, this camp is not real camp. This is a cyclic AMP mechanism, okay? So cyclic AMP is a clue, already have a clue. Okay, uh, let's talk about how to remember this. Okay, cycle C for cholera. Abhi we spoke, na? Cyclic AMP. When you talk about cyclic AMP, it's the AC, AC or cyclic AMP, they're the same mechanism. So don't confuse, okay? C for cholera. Okay, A for anthrax. A for anthrax, A for anthrax, and M for M for which one? M ka thoda ulta kor essay karo, it becomes E. coli. E. coli ka which which toxin? Labile toxin, labile toxin, labile toxin. Dekho, labile toxins are angry people. So A, labile people are labile means lazy. Lazy people are always angry, 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 angry. Hota. Lazy people are angry. A for A M P. Okay, that's what I want to make it easy. Okay, A for cyclic M P or angry people, labile toxin. Okay, Kem, P for your pertussis. This is somewhat you have to know because this is these days they they are asking this type of questions you know and cyclic GMP may very simple cyclic GMP see cyclic GMP, G G for good good people कौन से होता है good people are always stable good people are all good people are always good people are always stable life में stable होता है so क्या है stable toxin stable toxin of E coli stable toxin stable toxin of E coli stable toxin of E coli देखो difference हो गया लेबाइल लेजी पीपल एंग्री होता है उसके लिए वो एसी व्हेन यू साउ व्हेन टॉक अबाउट साइकिल जीएमपी जस्ट जीसी आल्सो सेम सेम ओके गोनेट साइकिल्स और अडनेट साइकिल्स ओके अडनेट साइकिल्स और गोनेट साइकिल्स एमपी कैसे या सेम सेम विद गिव एनीथिंग यू राइट इट ओके दिस इज़ द पिक्चर योर प्रोजेक्ट वेरी बिग टॉपिक now next one next one now look at this picture you look at this picture here a uh, truck driver came with a complaint of painless indurated genital ulcer after unsafe intercourse okay he had a sex unsafe intercourse which of the following is used to diagnose the condition in low resource setting with an active ulcer present okay this is too this bit uh, this bit tricky question so I have to talk with a lot of my uh, mycology colleagues, even dermatology, STD doctors, reputed uh, doctors here, and I got some answers. See, when they say a painless indurated genital ulcer means itself, you know syphilis. Syphilis. Syphilis means less is less caro, less pain. Matab no pain. Okay, no pain. When there is a painless genital ulcer, you think about syphilis first. That's the most common one. So syphilis is coming. So now they're saying in the low resource, low resource setting, matlab, some poor places, mein, but the patient has an active ulcer. So when usually with low resource setting, whenever the word comes low resource setting, gaya, toh, I will choose VDR. FTA, BS, TPA, I will not choose. Karunga. They are expensive tests and they are confirmatory tests. I'm not going to touch these two. It should be either dark field or VDR. Dark field is also very, very expensive. You know, it looks good, but dark field to maintain dark field also is expensive. So usually with uh, the many of my colleagues, microbiologists and the uh, dermatologists, STD specialists, they told VDRL could be the right answer, but here an active ulcer is present. So we don't know. They haven't given the time period. Maybe the ulcer has just started now. We don't know. Maybe it's still in the incubation period. So I don't know whether the antibody is still formed or not. So I can't choose VDR. You suppose to put them antibodies yet not formed. So I can't choose it. In that case, it's an active ulcer. Though dark field microbiology may, the sensitivity is not very good. Uh, 70 to 80 percent is fine. So if the answer is going towards the dark field microscopy. Okay, dark field microscopy. Because an active ulcer, a pulse, it's very easy. You pick the ulcer, see under the dark field, dark field may just have to change the condenser and see this. But my, my, our opinion is in this resource setting, do they have dark field microscopy or not? It's not that easy. A dark field microscopy is not present in all low resource setting. You understand? A PHC can't have a dark field microscopy. Dark field microscopy is present in high state. Example, Subdhajang Hospital, our hospital, it has. Ames has. So bigger hospitals there, but I don't know how small hospital they have. So ideal answer should be VDR. But only thing here, very fishy, is active ulcer. And active also, so we don't know the time period when he got ulcer, that incubation period, antibody has formed or not, that we don't know. That's what we're choosing, dark field. If the, if, if, if not dark field, then it should be VDR. Okay, so, but many of them, or too many of the doctors, they're going with dark field microscopy. So let's choose this answer. Okay, so now let's discuss a little bit about syphilis because syphilis is being asked frequently now. Okay, so what is this picture? They give you this picture and if they say you, 
see whenever there is a genital ulcer whenever there is a genital ulcer let's go like this let's do like this okay uh, uh let me start like this whenever there is a genital ulcer it could be painless or painful it should be painless or it is painful there are two options only it should be painless or painful painless means the most common one is the most common one or always almost always it is your syphilis 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 ka less karo less matlab no pain syphilis and painful hai to it's usually herpes herpes not only herpes your chancroid chancroid which is caused by h dukre if you remember h dukre h d h dukre so d for chancroid d aata hai dukre h dukre okay but <coughs> here syphilis and even lgv also comes but then lgv me the bubo is painful okay so but okay you just remember these two are the common one but ulcer we'll talk about ulcer so this one the primary ulcer here is, is if it's painless means it's called what hard chancre we call it as hard chancre hard chancre painless okay primary this is a primary syphilis primary syphilis okay and these things are secondary syphilis these things are secondary syphilis these things are secondary syphilis okay secondary syphilis mein kya hai you have rashes on the palms and soles like in the measles and uh, measles mein bhi aata hai hand and foot mein bhi you have rashes on the palms and soles so this is palms and this is sole you see all this rashes here very characteristic for secondary syphilis okay rash on the palms and soles means syphilis 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 bahut sare patients aise aayega questions also have come like this so which is uh, which is the disease state is syphilis and what is this thing you seeing here condyloma lata condyloma lata they give you clue acuminata is we saw it as hpv acuminata become hpv hpv means six and 11 you remember that but if it is condyloma lata condyloma lata then that is syphilis if they say directly what condyloma lata agyo to which is accumulated which is caused by uh, bacteria means that is your trypanoma pallidum of course uh, uh, we will talk about syphilis syphilis caused by trypanoma pallidum so secondary syphilis tertiary syphilis i am not going to talk tertiary syphilis mein kya kya aata hai it is usually after years you usually have gumma usually have gumma and you have cardiac defects okay coagulation of biota and etc you can have and neuro syphilis called tabes dorsalis tabes dorsalis and uh, yeah these are the common ones we'll talk about that before that now uh, before that diagnostic part we have start so you should know there are two types of diagnosis there is for syphilis for syphilis uh, diagnosis would be the diagnosis part would be two types the diagnostic part would be two types we have non tryponemal and tryponemal non tryponemal and tryponemal non tryponemal and tryponemal non tryponemal and tryponemal test okay i'm sorry here the space is a problem tryponemal test okay non i i'll write it in the front page it's better here there's more space yeah i'll write it here okay so we have two things right we have tryponemal test no let's say non tryponemal test and tryponemal test tryponemal test okay tryponemal non tryponemal they are specific these are not specific non specific test so in non specific test me what are the things i'm going to uh, non specific test what are the things we have you know popular one vdrl venereal dysplasia and rpr r p r these are highly sensitive test one more thing the important thing is vdr and r p r is this they are what they are very they are sensitive test they are for screening this is for usually screening test and also they are for what for treatment response treatment response you have to use either vdrl or r p r and another thing is what for neurosyphilis for neurosyphilis best is vdrl only vdrl not rpr only vdrl this is a question for neurosyphilis which is the bestest neuro uh, for vdrl but for treatment response screening both are right vdrl rpr both will come only difference in vdrl you need microscope you need microscope to see but rpr ka no need microscope that's the benefit no need microscope remember that rpr of naked i may dekh sakte ho but vdrl ke aise nahi hai you need microscopy to see that's it both of us screening both are for treatment response but neurosyphilis ka best is vdrl okay that's the best neurosyphilis ka vdrl is the best got it but tryponema the specific test specific test mein kya kya aata hai ek to tpi tryponema pallidum inhibition test then we have FTA, ABS, FTA, ABS, FTA, uh, सारे जगह में देखो ट्रिपोनिमा ट्रिपोन नाम आएगा ट्रिपोनिमा टीपीए एफ टी ए ट्रिपोनिमा एंटीबॉडी एब्जॉर्बन टेस्ट टीपीएचई टीपीएच में भी क्या है ट्रिपोनिमा टी टी आ गया ट्रिपोनिमा पेलोडम हिमाग्लूटिनेशन एंड टीपीपीए ट्रिपोनिमा पेलोडम पार्टिकुलेट अग्लूटिनेशन वेर एवर यू गेट टी 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 दो आर स्पेसिफिक टेस्ट ओके इसी में दिस इज द मोस्ट स्पेसिफिक इफ दे आस्क विच इज द मोस्ट स्पेसिफिक You have to say TPI. TPI small one. This is specific. Trypanosoma pallidum immobilization test. This is the most specific. That will be a question. 
hefty aba is the most sensitive but it is the first test to become positive that's what it's most sensitive first test first test to become positive okay first test to become positive and most sensitive test the most sensitive test though no question you got it hefty aba is both can be asked and tpha tpab or other things also specific so if they ask you to differentiate non triple this is the way you will answer that's it very simple apart from that we have washerman complement fiction which we don't use too much and then we have your uh, uh, washerman complement fiction test and then dark field microscopy dark field microscopy what about triple pneumon pallidum motility kya hai triple pneumon pallidum it's a triple pneumon pallidum belongs in the which with spirochetes so sare spirochetes will have what type of motility if you remember cork screw okay cork c o r k cork screw motility cork screw motility cork screw motility cork screw motility very simple okay that's it so these are the things you have to remember okay very simple this is almost i covered everything so now let's go to the next topic okay yeah now so this is done now let's go to hemolytic uremic syndrome okay uh, i think this would be our last topic for day and then uh, i one one question maybe one more okay and then other one will finish in the coming classes okay now here hemolytic uremic syndrome a human to uremic syndrome agya tabi you will remember i know what you remember okay you will remember what e coli e coli 11157 e coli 157 not malaria malaria mein what you have you have hemoglobin urea usme kya hota hai you will have the black water fever there will be black water fever usme hemoglobin urea hota hai but that is a black water fever okay we that's different story parvato pari chotu choti paru ko to you know choti pari or paru choti pari cause which one you remember we studied yesterday it causes the slap cheek slap cheek appearance okay that is infectious uh, erythematous infectiosum dusra kya aplastic anemia and also it causes the non immune hydrophytalis ye sare paru ka bachcho ka hai paru to choti hai sabse choti hai frustrated hai she single always single frustrated hai uske bachcho ko bachche ko maar deti hai panch ungli se 53 disease erythematous infectiosum and then wo kya kya aate hai uska aplastic anemia bachche ka aata hai also non immune hydrophytalis aata hai okay very important and bacterial hansale hansale to you know hansika if you remember south india hansika hansika के पास क्या कैट है सो शी गेट्स कैट स्क्रैच डिजीज कैट स्क्रैच हंसिका गेट्स कैट स्क्रैच डिजीज ओके त्रिशा त्रिकमनस वैजनलिस स्ट्रॉबेरी डायमंड आईलैश डोंट फॉरगेट दैट्स डिफरेंस बिटवीन त्रिकमनस वैजनलिस ये हमारा हंसिका है शी गेट्स कैट स्क्रैच इट्स रिसेंटली शादी हुआ है शी गेट कैट स्क्रैच ओके कैट स्क्रैच आई एम जस्ट किडिंग ओके दिस इज फॉर द रिमेंबरेंस ओके कैट स्क्रैच डिजीज दिस आई एम जस्ट ब्रीफिंग इट ओके नाउ हिमोलिटिक यूरमिक सिंड्रोम इज यू नो हिमोलिटिक मींस दिस ब्रेकडाउन ऑफ योर rbc हीमोग्लोबिन ब्रेकडाउन एंड देन दिस यूरिन सो वी विल टॉक अबाउट हीमो देयर सी इफ यू रिमेंबर इकोलाइ Not only E. coli, one more option if you write, you get Shigella also. It's right, Shigella and both E. E. coli me one five seven eight seven can causes. This one is this this E. coli is which which one if you remember we have different diarogenic type me E. coli has different types. What is that diarogenic type me? One is E. H. E. C. Right, and other one is E. P. E. C. Right, and then you have what E. I. E. E. P. and E. T. E. C. Right, and then we have what E. I. E. C. Right. and then we have e e a i'm sorry e a e c right these are the types we have now how to remember this is entero hemorrhagic type we already talked it causes what hus hemolytic uremic syndrome this is almost like a shigella and also hemorrhagic colitis it also causes anything hemorrhagic anything hemorrhagic hemolytic uremic all these things comes under your eh is hemorrhagic colitis okay hemorrhagic colitis okay this you know entero pathogenic p for pedia so pediatrics group me it's common this diarrhea is common this is causing diarrhea in pediatrics group okay t for t t for travelers diarrhea travelers diarrhea travelers diarrhea isme to apne do kya tha what type of toxin stable and labile stable people are always good so it is gmp or gc mechanism but labile people or angry people the cyclic amp or ac very simple very very simple you don't have to think invasive who invades invasive no invasive means it's be dangerous invades invades who invades your shigella like toxin this is like it's like a shigellosis shigellosis here uh, this uh, invasive may only thing you have to remember is it is mediated to vanillyl mandelic acid vanilla and there's one test called serine test serine test positive serine test is positive for invasive i i remember serine is a beautiful actress she is invasive you know she invades the heart like vanilla ice cream you know vanilla vanillin mentally acid serine invades the heart like a vanilla mentally acid and e e a is aggregative type entero aggregate means just they don't as much just they you know uh, bricks the brick like appearance the stack this stack you know the, the way they form is agglutination is like you know they form a brick like stack that's the equal so these are the questions anything can be asked so that's what i'm stressing on this equal that's it okay finished so we have done for today so the next the next question uh, would be uh, again equal i only okay let's finish this so this we are we are already equal so i want to finish this equal also here so equal grows better in which media 
If you remember, equally good best in the chocolate agar? No. Chocolate and Thayer Martin will not come here. Chocolate and Thayer Martin for which one? Nisha. Nisha's boyfriend. Nisha, Nigeria. Nisha, Nigeria. Nisha, Nigeria. Uska chocolate. She has what? She has a chocolate boyfriend. Now, Martin. Chocolate boyfriend. Martin from New York. New York say hai. She is very lucky. Okay. She got a chocolate boyfriend, Martin from New York. Chocolate, chocolate, agar ho gaya, Martin, Thayer Martin ho gaya. New York modified media is Thayer Martin. is actually new, this is one more media, new uh, modified New York media. Ye pura Nizeria. Nizeria mein kya ho sakta hai? It can be Nizeria meningitis or Nizeria gonorrhea. So it's ko koi no link. SD agar is for fungus. It's a superactive that's for fungus. So link ki nahi hai. Of course, a meconki. Meconki is the agar where you can see. So in meconki me, you will have what? Lactose fermenting, non-lactose fermenting. So let's go to this one. So this is if you see here. So this is the question you're going to get. So ye, this is your meconki. This is a meconki agar. They might give you the picture also and tell to identify meconki agar. So if you see this side, this is lactose LF, this is NLF, non-lactose fermenting, right? So uh, either up uh, meconki agar me first kya kya hai, isme plant hai. Remember meconki me plant hai. What is P stands for? P is for, P is what? Peptone. P is for peptone. L for lactose. Ye lactose ka wajah se aapko pink color aata hai because of lactose, yeah? And A for, A for all the, uh, A for all the, what is this? What what is it's a agar? So it's a agar. Agar. N for neutral red. It's the indicator. This is a question asked many times. Neutral red. Neutral red is the indicator for the meconki. Meconki means plant. T for taurocolate. It's a bile acid. Taurocolate. Okay. Taurocolate. It's a bile acid. So this is the content. So it's how you will divide it. You will have it. You will classify it into like this. You will classify it into uh, two types. Either lactose fermenters or NLA. Uh, NLA. Lactose ferment. So lactose is a pinky pinky. Hota hai, so pink color. Hai. Lactose. They go. Lactocalamine lotion. Apne dekha hoga. You would have applied, right? Girls must be doing better. Pink color. Hai. So lactose is a pink color. Non lactose is a yellow color. Very simple. Uh, yellow. I, I would not say yellow. I would put it pale is better. Up. Lactocalamine apply. Kar, pink color. Aega. Ap, nahi apply. Kar aega, pale. Aega. So pink color. Hai. Isko do hota hai. What are the two organisms? Lactose. One is E. coli. Other one is Klebsiella. Most important is this two only. E. coli and Klebsiella. If you don't remember also, don't worry. The shortcut is. Deko. Lac. Lac. K. T. Lactose. So pronunciation mein lac aata hai. K. K aata hai. So K for a Klebsiella ho gaya. E. coli. Kabhi ab K kya bol sa E. Coli, you can say E. coli, coli. Okay, in case if you can't remember, everybody remembers E. coli and club shell. If you forgot, also remember lactose, K, 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 coli, not Virat coli, E. coli, Estericia coli, K, another one is your club shell, lactose fermenter. They can ask this question. It looks very simple, but questions can be from there. Non lactose fermenters are pale. Pale cone pale, hota hai? spy log hota na, koi bhi spy hota hai na? they are very pale. They are so pale. Yes, for Sheila and T. Shigala. And other one is your Salman G. Salman Bai. You know, Salman Bai these days are very pale. I don't know why. He's not eating good. I think he's very pale. Shigala Salman. Say Sheila and T and Salman. Both are pale. Okay. They are non lactose fermenters. P for Proteus. Proteus also pale. Prochita. Hamara Prochita be pale. That girl has lost her beauty. She's pale. And then Y for Ersinia. Ersinia. Okay, remember. Okay, Ersinia. Okay, this is the question they can ask. Which are the following standard? And one more lactose fermenter is made. It's called late lactose fermenter, but that is still thoda late. Uh, it's thoda late. Hai. Sare time later, but she's very pretty. Kone Shigala Sony. Sony Shigala Sony. Sare Shigala NLF me aate. Eki beautiful ladki hai. Koi Sony. Hamara Sony sundar hai. Lactose fermenter. But kya? Thoda late hai. Thoda lazy type hai. Late hai. Doesn't matter. Still sees lactose fermenter. She's pretty girl. A question. Both, 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 both put chuka hai. So please be careful with your Sony's LLF and KK. And other things, spy. Spy is pale. Spies are always pale. Koi pe spies are always pale. Darta hai na. So pale hota hai. Spies are pale. Okay, okay. Ye media. Okay. Ye dekhi sir. Ye kya hai? Ye clad media bolte hai. Ye it's it's a replacement for meconki media. It's better than the meconki media. Isme uh, you can differentiate LF and NLF. Kaise dis differentiate karogi? This is always better. Better than your LF. Q. I'll tell you why. First of all, ye isme eh, suppose if LF LF hai to kya ulta? LO a jayega isme. Hello, Yam per pink sana. Yam per in if you use a clad media, cysteine, lysine, electrolyte deficient media. Okay. This may hello as the NLF is no color. NLF will be just pale. This may be pale at that. Ticket. Got it? So this is the question. So NLF. So what is the important thing, clad ka? You in clad media, you will have no swarming. No swarming. 
ऑल्सो नो अनवॉन्टेड बैक्टीरिया लाइक ग्राम पॉजिटिव बैक्टीरिया वाला नहीं ग्रो होता है स्वार्मिंग प्रोटीस यानी क्या होता है प्रोटीस से स्वार्मिंग नो मैकों की में पूरा सोनता नहीं विच डिफिकल्ट टू पिक द कॉलोनी प्रॉपरली प्रोटीस में कंटेमिनेट होता है सो वेन यू से क्लेट मेडिया इट विल नॉट स्वार्म so it will inhibit the swarming so it's easy for us to identify that's what okay that's what it's always clad is better especially for urine sample overall better but remember urine sample ke liye this which is the best media culture ke liye clad is better than your mcconkey okay right to differentiate lf or nlf that's it so this much only okay so we're finishing so that again we're continuing i think there'll be another one more part of this revision so please 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 listen to all these things what have i told definitely you will have questions from here even if you not also some of linking here and there with all my clothes hanshika trisha gia whatever you know you will get it okay so all the best again guys i'll see you soon i hope uh i hope it was uh okay so yeah i'm very excited to see you in other classes so all the best